Hello again. Today, I'm going to talk about this camera. This is the Canon Canonet QL17. Now, this is not the G3 model, but it does have the f1.7 lens, um, and it's a completely manual camera. Um, it's a pretty nice camera. Um, I do like the focusing tab uh, here, so you can adjust your focus, and then uh, this one, the aperture ring, uh, it feels smooth. Uh, and then on focus, uh, basically your focus throws a little less than 45 degrees. Um, and the focus range on it is not incredibly long. Uh, basically it jumps from uh, 10 feet to infinity um, and probably a minimum focus distance somewhere in two two and a half feet uh, looks like 0 0.8 meters It does have a film advance and, and a film indicator. Um, uses 35 millimeter film. I have a, an adapter ring on so I can, uh, didn't come with a lens cap. Uh, so I have a lens cap to go on it. It is a 45 millimeter lens, uh, if I didn't say that already. It has a small uh, focusing patch, but it is bright. And I'll include a, a picture of the uh, viewfinder with the, uh, uh, it'll show you the focusing patch and how bright it is in this camera. Um, it's a good little camera. Um, unfortunately, uh, the film I've run through it so far has only been um, some expired uh, Kodak color process black and white film, um, which gave it uh, the pictures, a, a, I guess it's a magenta hue to it. Um, but in general, uh, it seems to take very nice pictures. Um, I do have, let's see, do have a leather case for it, and uh, I do have some uh, some additional uh, color process black and white film in it, and when I finish shooting that, I'll post an updated video to see how those come out, but uh, like I said, it's a nice camera. I think I paid $75 for it uh, a few years ago. I haven't shot very much with it. Um, but as you'll see in some of the pictures, it does take some reasonably nice pictures. Um, I think when I'm done with this roll of film, I'm gonna put a roll of color film through it. Um, we'll see. Uh, I may just put some uh, HP5, another roll of HP5 in it. But there's not much to it. Um, it's a solid working camera, and it, if you want to get into film photography at the 35 millimeter level, I, I would recommend this camera. Uh, it's good for beginners and even wearing glasses. Um, the rangefinder focusing system works pretty well. Um, as long as you have 
a contrasty subject or um, if you do zone focusing. So uh, it's a good way to learn. Anyway, um, I'm attaching a handful of pictures and enjoy. Thank you. Almost forgot, but uh, here's a, an image of the viewfinder and as you can see the uh, focusing patch is quite clear and then you can kind of see the uh, framing lines inside the camera. Okay, so uh, this is the first picture. Um, as you can see, we got nice details. Um, the color cast to this is being caused by the uh, color process black and white film. Um, all of these pictures are uh, from a trip to South Florida to visit some family. And this is a pedestrian bridge over one of the roadways there. Uh, same bridge um, up the stairs, but uh, this picture I did uh, actually convert it to a true black and white image in Photoshop. But again, you know, nice details, um, focusing. Uh, I probably shot this at f11. Um, so, as you can see, it, it takes a decent detailed image. Um, another slightly processed image. Uh, beach, it was a very rainy and stormy day. Um, I did like the wet sand strip, but in this picture it didn't come out that well. And I think the picture is slightly underexposed. Um, I might go back in and process it some more to bring out the details in, in the beach. But, uh, yeah. Uh, now, here's a, a, a picture I like better of the same shoreline uh, without the uh, buildings down the shoreline. And as you can see, there's rain moving in. Um, again, I converted this to black and white. Uh, in Photoshop. Additionally, I did do a select on the sky and bump up the contrast, um, which helped bring out some of the details in the sky. Um, now, I did have this film processed at a local lab, and uh, I don't know what they did, but there's a fair number of scratches on the negative. Um, so uh, obviously I won't be using that lab again, but uh, anyway, I might do some touch up to remove those scratches. And then this is the last picture. Um, like the composition, I kind of wish I didn't have people in here, but um, it is overexposed in the center, but I wanted to get the details of these trees lined up. Anyway. Um, and those are the pictures from the Canon Canonet QL17. Thanks and have a great day.